Hey guys, welcome to Hoopite. I'm Case. This video will teach you how to install our Begot Master Suspension Linkage Kit. First, let's look at the tools that need to be prepared. A 2.5mm hex wrench, a 4mm hex wrench, two 5mm hex wrenches, a screwdriver, a hammer, a bottle of screw glue. With the tools ready, we can start dismantling the wheel. First, remove the power pad from the battery case. Then, Remove the pedal shaft fixing screws with a 5mm hex wrench. Use the hammer against the screwdriver to smash out the pedal shaft and remove the pedal. Remove the bottom protective pad. Use a 4mm hex wrench to remove the battery case screws. Position the wheel forward. Remove the battery case and place it on either side. Deflate the damper. Use the hex wrench to remove the top and bottom steel color. Remove the original linkage kit. Remove the remaining steel column from the linkage kit. Put the removed parts away for use. Now we are gonna start installing the suspension linkage. Use the original 16mm steel column to install the short linkage on the wheel. Add a 0.5mm gasket at each end. Tighten the screws. Use the longest steel column and the original isolation column to install the long linkage on the wheel. Add a 1mm gasket at each end. Tighten the screws. Use our 16mm steel column to mount the damper to the short linkage. If your damper is 14mm, you need to use two 15mm isolation columns we gave away. If your damper is 18mm, you need to use two 12mm isolation columns and uh, two 1mm gaskets we give away. Add a 1mm gasket at each end. Tighten the screws. 
Use 17mm steel column and original isolation column to connect the long linkage and short linkage. Add a 0.5mm gasket at each end. Tighten the screws. I suggest you first deflate the damper or loosen the preload nut for better installation. Use 17mm steel column to connect the damper to the long linkage. If your damper is 14mm, you need to use the original 21mm isolation column. If your damper is 18mm, you need to use our two 20mm isolation columns. Tighten the screws. Install the fender. Don't twist the screws too tight. Now, let's start assembling the wheel. Install battery packs. Install the bottom protective bumper. Install the pedal. Install the power pad. Installation complete. Now you need to adjust the preload nut compression dampening and rebound dampening of the damper according to your own situation until the damper achieves the best effort. Thanks for watching and welcome to subscribe my channel. See you next time.